Okay. Uh, so good evening. So let's uh, talk about uh, uh, web portals like LinkedIn. Okay. So this week we'll talk about LinkedIn. And so LinkedIn is a website where you can apply for jobs. Okay. So I thought it might be useful for you. Uh, so we'll teach that. Okay. So in case you want to apply for a job, right? Uh, you can use these websites yes, to sir. apply for jobs. So we'll see how to create an account in LinkedIn, how to apply right, for yeah. a uh, apply for a job, and uh, so whatever we can cover, we can cover those things. So yeah. first, uh, so this is the page uh, where we this is a LinkedIn. Okay, so go to l i n k e LinkedIn dot com. Okay, so once you type this, uh, you can. See a website. Uh, this website helps you to apply for jobs and search for jobs using this. So what we have to do is uh, first you have to create a resume. Okay. So to create a resume, you first you have to create an account in it. Okay. So to create an account, uh, uh, there is an option here. So there is an option called Join Now. Okay. So click that. And. So I'll 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 uh, explain you how to create an account with my uh, existing uh, email ID. So I have already an account, uh, uh, Gmail account, uh, Robert ID for Ravi Kumar, and uh, I don't use it with LinkedIn. So I'm using this email ID to register uh, in LinkedIn. Okay. So what I have to do is, uh, so it's asking for a password and then uh, join. Okay. So I'll type. Uh, Okay, so password I've given it and I give the email ID. So now I'm going to agree and join. I'll click it and I should be able to create an account. So it asks for the past, first, first name and last name. So uh, I will use my uh, profile as an example. So my first name is Robert and my second name is Ravi uh, Kumar. So I will uh, continue with this. Okay, so once I do this, it's asking for a security verification. So we have to type uh, verification verify. And it's asking us to uh, touch the image that is the correct way of. Okay, so this is the correct way of. We'll click it. And then. So then, uh, so once you uh, proceed, it is asking for other details. Okay, so we are in Singapore right away. So I'm giving those serial number of those details, and the chances are post. Okay, so I'll type my email ID. So I typed in my postal code, my online country. So we have to fill those details. Uh, okay, we have people joined. Okay, so hello all. So. We have a new joiner here. May know who is this? Uh, hello. Hello, hello, sir. Uh, no, other guy. So, okay. uh, welcome, Dinesh. Okay. Uh, so this week, uh, this week we're talking about uh, LinkedIn. So it's a job portal uh, where we can apply for jobs. Okay. So I'm teaching uh, you how to apply for a job and uh, how to create a profile and resume and how to use a profile to apply for a job. So, uh, I've, so what I did is initially I uh, I went into LinkedIn and I uh, I click join now. There is an option and then I have to I fill fill in my first name last name. Uh, my account ID and password and uh, I come to this page. Okay. So I filled the country region now and uh, continuing to the next uh, page. So most recent job profile. So my job profile, uh, so I'm software engineer, so I'll type that. Uh, okay, so 
So this is my profile. So employment type, I'm doing full time. So I'm not doing a part time. So we have a lot of options here. So freelance uh, or a part time. So are you running a company, self-employed or something? We have so many things, but uh, as I'm working full time, I'm in this option. And my most recent company, let's say my most recent company is uh, so I'm giving some details. So uh, now I filled in just details. I'm continuing it. Okay, continue. So what they've done is to confirm whether I'm the user using this email ID, they have sent me a uh, passcode. Okay, so, uh, so, so in this, you can see the passcode here. So what I have to do is just type in this passcode there, 785481. So to, to verify, to confirm that this is my email ID, I have to type in the passcode here. Passcode, I couldn't copy. So passcode is 785481. So once you, uh, so what have that done is to confirm that the VRT uses of the owner of the email, uh, they have sent an passcode to email ID and we have to open that uh, email from LinkedIn, uh, which uh, gives a passcode. So once you, you have to type in the passcode that to confirm your or verify your email ID. So once you do that, you have to agree and confirm. So are you looking for a new job? So it's asking whether you're looking for a new job or uh, we just creating a profile in LinkedIn. So if you're looking for a new job, what happens is uh, it uh, it shows other recruiters or uh, talent uh, recruiters uh, that you're open for a job and you're open for a job and uh, that means uh, they can approach you uh, for any jobs uh, that matches your profile. So what we do is uh, uh, we say we are open for a job now. Click yes. And it asks for location on which location we are going to search for a job. So uh, since we are in Singapore and since I'm looking for a job in Singapore, I'm going to just type uh, Singapore. Uh, and, uh, okay, first let's create our profile. First we'll skip this. Uh, skip. Okay. So what happened is now we have created our profile. So if you see here, you go here, view on view profile. Uh, you can see your details here. So what we have, the recent company, we have, what we type is here, Capgemini. And uh, so I was, so my profile is, my job role is senior software engineer. I'm working at Capgemini, okay. So this is, these are details uh, that is here. So apart from that, apart from that, uh, my experience. So what, uh, which company I'm working, all those details are, uh, is filled up here. So whatever we have uh, typed in, right, all those details uh, are filled up here. So still we have a lot of things to uh, build. So we'll see one by one how to do all those things, okay? So first thing we'll do uh, is we'll upload a photo of us. So that is very important. Uh, so usually uh, whenever you share your photo on LinkedIn, you your profile, uh, and then people, recruiters can see your face and uh, it'll be, I mean, if you upload a photo, it'll be, it, it'll be easily searchable for them and uh, uh, getting an ink, a resume short result might be uh, easy when you upload your uh, profile photo properly. Okay. So I will take a photo and upload. Uh, Random photo.
I upload this photo for now. So uh, ideally, you should be giving your own photo, but uh, giving your dog's photo. So let it be there. Okay. So I don't have any photo for now. Uh, so here are there are options to zoom in and uh, stuff like that. Okay. So once you want to, maybe you want to zoom in your face. Okay. So these things can be done here. Uh, and straight in the photo. So you can see, right? You can adjust the photo. Uh, uh, Alignment, how it uh, looks, all these things can be done uh, using this tool. Okay. Uh, there are filters to be applied, so you can edit those photos. Okay, it looks uh, better uh, when you use those filters. Uh, you can adjust these things, brightness, all these things can be done. So what I do is I save this photo. So now you can see my, uh, my photo uploaded here. Okay. And, uh, if you want a background image, you can choose anything. Okay, I don't have any photo, so we'll upload the same photo again. Just I uh, will keep it in the background, the same picture. So this is uh, this is this gives you the background photo. So there are two photos that you can upload. So one uh, you think here, and here you can uh, upload another background photo. It's, it's similar to Facebook, uh, where you have a profile photo and a background photo. It's similar to the same thing. Okay. So apart from that, uh, uh, this is how you upload your photos. And uh, now we can see how to add uh, different profile sections. So we can. You, there is a lot of sections here, so you can uh, uh, talk about you, you. You can introduce about yourself. Uh, you can give you give a summary. You can add feature. Uh, I mean, you can add any articles that you have created or something like that. You can do background skills. You can add. So we'll discuss in detail all those things uh, one by one. Okay. So until then, any any doubts in this? Uh, anything uh, you want to want me to ask? Okay, so I'll go to my profile and we'll see how to add a, a section by section. Okay, so. First, uh, first we'll add this section. So show recruiters are open to work, okay? So this, uh, so let's say get started. So this uh, says uh, uh, we are looking for a job currently. So there could be profiles uh, where people cannot, uh, in people are not looking for a job currently, okay? So those, there are, uh, so those profiles uh, won't be searchable by recruiter. So whenever uh, people are searching for a special uh, skill uh, that matches your profile, uh, and if your profile is not searchable, uh, that means you are not open to jobs, you won't be able to, uh, 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 a recruiter cannot, uh, uh, a recruiter cannot uh, see you. So, so I've given the job titles I want to search, okay? So I, I'm looking for a senior software engineer. So something like that so so if you want to add titles so if you want to look for some other jobs like software engineer okay or uh, java programmer so it could be anything like so it could be in a uh, uh, anything like an uh, uh, driver something like that you can give anything so driver or uh, uh, truck driver or a mechanic manager so you can you can give anything so like this okay so maybe uh could be a uh, senior supervisor so you can search in uh, whether whichever matches your uh, skill set and you can add those things here in the job titles okay so these are job titles you will be linked to your account will be linked to and you can add locations if you want so i want to look for malaysia also so i can add malaysia or uh, whatever nearby. So we can add for uh, uh, Indonesia if you want. Uh, India, I can add. 
so you can look at the jobs in India can add. So you can uh, add those things up there. And uh, so this is this is one thing. So this is they are going to start it. So they are going to do options. So I'm open for jobs. I, I'm looking for a job immediately or uh, flexible. So I'm cash flow browsing. So so if this means that whether uh, you're searching for a job very seriously or just uh, not so serious, you are looking for. Uh, you're not immediately looking for a job, okay? So you can choose any, either one of those, okay? You can choose, uh, let's say I want to immediately look for a job. That means I, uh, I want to uh, switch a job immediately as soon as possible. So this the option you have to select. Okay, so uh, after that, they have come to job types. So, Okay, I'm audible. Hello. Now, uh, basically, get that. Hello. I'm audible. Hello. 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 Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, now, please, sir, get that. Hello. Hello, can I get that? Now, please, sir, get that. Okay, now, can you ponder? Okay, can I tell you? Okay. Ah, uh, so we are looking at job types, right? Okay. 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 Uh, so we were discussing about job types, okay. So whether you are looking for a part full time job, contract job, part time or internship or temporary job. So you know, so full time is uh, is doing uh, full time the whole day or uh, uh, it's like a permanent. I mean, we saying a permanent job here, right? Uh, so it could be a lengthy period of. I mean, until then. You can work. So contract is something like a three months contract or one one year contract. So they have to renew the contract every time. So this is a contract job. So part time is uh, maybe you're doing it for two days a week or uh, maybe three hours a day. So you're not do doing full time eight hours. Uh, you're not doing eight hours full time. So that is a part time job. An internship is uh, done usually by uh, freshers. So once they are out of college, right? They go to internship to learn uh, new stuff. So so it's it this internship applies for uh, especially for freshers so who are fresh out of college or fresh out of school and temporary job is similar so temporary job is similar to contract it's it might be uh, for a specific period of time it could be one i mean it could be two months three months something like that so so these are job uh, uh, types i am looking for so maybe i can, i'll look for a full time job or a contract job so uh, or a uh, part time job so i could be looking for any type of jobs, uh, you can select, select multiple choices, okay? So I am always, so since, let's say I am always looking for a full-time job, I'll, I can choose only this one, okay? So if I'm looking for a full-time or a contract job, I can choose both of these things, any. Uh, so once you do that, uh, once you have filled, uh, filled all the above details, then it's asked for choose who sees your open, okay? So this is the one I'm talking about, uh, okay? So all LinkedIn members are recruiters only, so, so this means uh, whenever uh, somebody is searching for a profile, uh, let's say since I've given a, a truck driver, right? Maybe uh, some recruiter, may, a recruiter or somebody who wants to recruit uh, or some agency who wants to recruit uh, a truck driver will search for truck driver. Uh, once they search it, right? Uh, uh, you will be searchable for them. So. Uh, when you say uh, I'm open to when your profile set set to open, okay. If it's set to not open and uh, and uh, whenever they search for a truck driver, they you it you won't appear in the search search uh, list. So that's the difference uh, of keeping your profile open and uh, open to jobs and uh, keeping your profile closed, okay. So there are and the, uh, inside that there are two things, okay. So there are only recruiters can open or uh, 
or members can uh, see it okay so let's talk about recruiters first okay so once you we can type uh, registers two profiles okay so now we are uh, uh, registering as a job seeker so one who looks for a job uh, uh, we have registered our profile okay so there are people who are uh, recruiters so in case uh, let's say i am a recruiter right i want to recruit some people i can register myself as a recruiter so there is a different workflow or different way to register like that okay so for now we are what we're discussing is how we register as a job seeker so we have done that as job seeker so so might be if you choose this right everyone can search for a truck driver and your a profile will be searchable and uh, if it's we choose this one right uh, it will say for recruiters only those are uh, only for profile recruiters who who are looking for a uh, who are looking for a uh, uh, looking for a person to add to this uh, add to this company okay so this is uh, how you uh, uh, choose something so let's say we will uh, choose all linkedin members so once you do that you click add to profile so done so now you can see uh, your things are changed right so i am open to work and uh, my profile is uh, I'm open to these kind of jobs, okay? So I can work as a job uh, software engineer, a truck driver, a mechanic, or a senior supervisor, okay? So usually we won't have these kind of things, okay? So usually what we should have is a similar profile. Let's say I'm a truck driver, right? So let's say a truck driver, I could be a driver. So and I could be a... Um, motor vehicle operator okay so something like this. so usually it will be similar kind of jobs will be researching so you need to be in a, a, a various uh, different types of jobs okay so we are looking for a truck driver so one my profile is uh, truck driver so we'll change this also okay so we'll change this to So we have set as a profile and we, everyone can see, see our profile, okay? So this is one thing. And uh, this is, so one section we have filled, okay? And, okay, let's talk about introduction, okay? Introduction, what are your introduction looking good, okay? So we have done that and uh, there's a tick mark that says uh, we have done our introduction, okay? So then about section. So about section is not done. So click on summary. So let's say uh, I am a truck driver. So you could you could say something about yourself. So it could be like I have uh, 12 years of uh, truck uh, driving. And uh, you could say I have a uh, license. Uh, you could say I have uh, one, uh, I have done. Uh, 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 I don't know what we have to so just think of this and uh, I should have played them okay. I should have played them something company. So this could be our introduction. So whenever you 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 this is your pitch, okay? So this is uh, what people will read uh, once they search for a profile. So here you can you have, you have to give a uh, short introduction. 
about uh, what uh, what is your total experience or something like that or what uh, what is your skill set and what you can do for this uh, i mean what is your uh, basic skill set and all or your total information can be uh, given in your summary okay so we can save this so once you see this right uh, you should see it somewhere uh, Okay, so there's an about section here, right? You can see it in the about section here. Whatever you type in here can be seen here. So, uh, so this is your profile, and you can see the details in this about section here. Okay, so one by one, we fill all these things. So, still, we have a lot of things to fill. Mm, so, we have finished the about section. So, any doubts in this? Uh, anything you want to ask specifically? So let's continue with the okay. So feature. Okay, so let's talk, talk about feature. Okay. So feature link articles post okay. so leave that. So talk about work experience. Uh, then so how to fill the work experience. Okay, so add experience. So what we have done is uh, we have uh, added only one position. Okay, so when we created the profile, right? Uh, it uh, it asks for a single position and we have given the single position. But uh, uh, we we said uh, we have worked for uh, 12 years around, around 12 years, right? And uh, you can fill in one by one. So, So I work from January 2007 to uh, March to, to March uh, let's say March 2010. Okay, so you 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 work for three years. Okay, so 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 we are trying to fill up a, a company uh, which we have worked for for three years. Uh, let's say the company name is uh, LNT, and you have worked as a truck driver and. Uh, the company is Larsen and Turbo, and uh, the location is we have worked in India. So, and we are given the start date. So, we started in January 2007 to March 2010. So, we can say, I used to drive uh, trucks in, uh, in the state of Tamil Nadu. Something like you should make an insight. So so whatever you have done in the profile in the particular company that you can fill in uh, all those details. So you could uh, uh, type in your own stuff. So so what are the I used to shift boiler parts here using my truck. You uh, could fill in more details if you want. Okay, so I couldn't think of any now. But you could fill anything uh, here. Okay, and you once you fill all those details, you click save. Okay, so once you save it, right, uh, your experience, all these things should be seen here. So what? Uh, so current job, uh, this thing you have not done. Right? So maybe you delete all those things. Okay? You don't need this. Right? So then. Okay, so so currently we are filling only uh, March January 2007 to March 2010. Okay, so I worked there for three years, three years, three months, 
and i've done uh, these things in this company okay so if you want to add uh, so this is only one year old so this the year is not 2020 right 2021 so still we have 10 more years to fill up so we can use the plus sign to fill up this year and you can see uh, you can run another company where you work okay so trust uh, so this is another company also you are working at trust and work Uh, you could say uh, some other company. Then, Bharat Airways, that's another company. So, and it could be any place. Okay. So you can see the location here, and uh, you are not currently working in this company. So it's the previous uh, experience you worked. So you could say uh, so last company you worked. From uh, so we'll say March twenty. So let's say March or April. April twenty uh, ten to June August twenty uh, seventeen. Okay, twenty fifteen. Let's say so. So I used to ship uh, heavy. Actually, from uh, from from Turkey to Pune. So something like that you can give. So let's say then you can save it. So you can see those experience added here. So you worked in this company for six years, and uh, you worked in a specific location, Tiruchi, 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 Tiru
Given our background, so we are given our work experience. Okay, so now then then we can about uh, we can give about give our uh, education uh, experience. So school, so similarly you can add uh, all the experience similar. So we can give the school name. So, what are the types of drives you have? We've got it here. So, if you want to add your college, you uh, also can do so. I could say JJ's uh, college. You can give uh, master in mean bachelor of. Uh, Bachelor's degree, and you can say uh, I studied uh, mathematics. So you could say anything. So I would say from uh, 2003 to 2003 to 2007. Okay, so grade I could say 80% or something. So, uh, So you can see your education details also getting filled here. So, uh, so this is how you fill all the section by section. You can add uh, all these things. So every section you can, if you want to edit it back, right? You want to change it to JJ College Arts, Arts and Things. You can change everything once you save it. So it's not fixed, okay? So you can edit using this uh, edit button. Uh, So, so we'll, we have filled a lot of sections here. So we'll, we have given our introduction summary. Uh, we have given our uh, education details. We have given our work profile where you have worked all those details you have uh, given. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's it. Uh, so background education again. So license and certifications, okay. Uh, so you could say license in the sense, uh, you could say Indian license, Indian uh, heavy 
heavy vehicles, bicycles, okay, I don't know exact uh, name for it, but uh, you could say issue organization. So which organization, Indian government, uh, yeah, no, no, you can say. And just say Indian government. So you can you can also you can say when the issue certificate was issued. Okay, so if, let's say I got a license by March uh, two thousand and seven, and you can choose. Uh, you can save it. So now, if you want to save it, right? You can see all the details here. So all these heavy 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 license heavy. So, so whatever you type in uh, all those details, right? Only uh, those things uh, the recruiter will search. So whenever uh, whenever some person is looking for a truck driver, right? He can look for a, he can search for a truck driver, and uh, he will uh, whenever uh, and we when he clicks on our profile, right? Uh, you can see, he can see all these details. Whatever you type in, right? He can see all our details. So that's the reason you're filling all these details. So it is easy for other person to uh, look for your details. He doesn't have to call you and ask for all those details. Okay. So this is one thing. Uh, so we are given our licenses. If you want to add more license or uh, more certifications, you can add it. Okay. So you want to add any certification, right? Uh, so I can. Uh, I can do a forklift. Okay. So, so I've done a certification for forklift safety inspector, and uh, I got it from this organization. Maybe it could be Larson and Tabo. I'm not sure whether it's providing certification, but uh, you can say Larson and Tabo provides certification, and you can say. Which year I got the certification? Like maybe I got it in September 2010. Okay, all these details, right? Uh, whenever you add it, will be used for uh, people to look uh, look in your profile. So whenever they search for a forklift safety inspector, right? Your search, uh, your profile will be uh, appearing. So it will be always good that whenever you type in all the details, all the skills you have, all the certificates you have, all the education you have, so that. Uh, uh, your uh, search listing will be based on the details only only from that. So whatever you see in your profile uh, will be searchable. So so whenever you create a profile, right, it should be very detailed and uh, it should be searchable and uh, it should add. Uh, it should add. Why is it very technical? Oh, what's the name of the Yeah. Okay. Hippo will be leaving there. Go behind that. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, Sometimes a bit low, but low. Oh, dear. Okay, okay. Maybe I'll tell you. Okay, 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 I'll what you have to give us, you have to give all, all your details. So make sure your profile is fully filled. And uh, you, you, here you can see all the details. So here it says profile self, right? So this means uh, how strong is your profile. That means how how, how much of details you have already added, okay? So we didn't, uh, we added only a few details, for, uh, uh, right? So we didn't all add all the details. So that's why the profile is not so strong. So that means your profile is not so searchable. So whenever you are uh, being searched, uh, 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 I mean, whenever your profile is very strong, right? So once you get a all-star profile, uh, whenever you move this thing to here, right? 
in singapore what we do uh, so singapore you can say i have done some community service okay community club so so we could be a um it could be a mary mount uh, so community club so in mary mount club community club you have done blood donation so all these things can be added here so in the section so here you can say what type of uh, welfare you have done so it says uh, we can say uh, social service okay so there are a lot lot of categories and uh, economic empowerment okay so so let's say blood donation uh, lies in this uh, which category social services let's say social services okay and you can see when when you have done this so you could say i have done it in uh, september 2018 okay so you can add in so i donated it for a social cause so you can type in something and you can say you can save all those things so all the details whatever you fill right it will be searchable and it will be appearing in your profile Okay, so you could do add things. So I could also add something like I could do volunteering in uh, Excel classes. Okay, so so let's say you can say FIB, and you could say uh, I'm teaching Excel. Excel teacher, the computer teacher. So it could be education, okay. So, so something like that uh, you can give. So I am doing it from I think October, October two thousand twenty. So whatever you do can be uh, can be added to the profile. So. This could, uh, I mean, I would uh, suggest you to fill all those details whatever done because it gives you a, it gives a good impression for your recruiters. Okay, so always add these volunteer experience. Don't leave any any category or any section unfilled. Okay, so so this category is filled. Okay, so now so whenever you fill something, right, you could see your uh, profile start moving up. Okay, so you can. Choose one by one. Okay. So we have done up to background. So we have done up to volunteer experience. So then we'll talk about skills. Okay. So click on skills. Add profile setting. Click on skills. So now you have to add your skills. Okay. Uh, what is your skills? Click add. 
So we get four as this and we get an I. Now you can see where it appears in our profile. Okay. See, you can see it here, right? Whatever you added, uh, it's added to your skills and endorsements. So it added, so these are your, so we added all those things, right? So if you want to add a new skill, you can add it. So these are your special skill set, okay? Uh, where you can type, uh, I mean, your work experience rate is, uh, uh, you know, sort of that. Um, all your work experience can be added here. So like track driving, uh, could be a mechanic or could be a forklift operator, or you could be a senior supervisor, or uh, you could be a, uh, you could be anything. So you could be an AutoCAD uh, designer, something like that you can add, or whichever, whatever your, your skill set matches, right? You can add it uh, here. So this is done. Okay, so uh, then we'll see skills and accomplishments. Apart from that, accomplishments. So, so honors and awards. Okay, so you could say I I want a best employee award. So I got a best uh, employee award. associated with the uh, associated with SP group. Okay, so issues SP. So any awards uh, you got, right, you can add it here. So it could be, you can choose any year. And you can see the description. Uh, so description is similar. So what, for which uh, award, I mean, for the, why you got this award? Okay, I drive uh, that. So, which one is uh, uh, which one suits the uh, reason for the award? You can type in. So, if you have got any awards, you can type in uh, uh, the award names and uh, in which company you got the award and which company issued the award and when you got this award and why did you do this award. So, all these things can be added. So, in case you have got any awards in sports certification, I mean, in schools, right? You, might think you might have intelligent in any sports so those kind of things also can be added uh, in your uh, linkedin profile okay so you could choose uh, so you could choose what to say what and you could say in school so you you can see all the pro things you have listed so i your college your school your first company second company third company all these details uh, so are uh, are auto populated in this uh, drop down box okay so you could choose anything like uh, here yeah, so maybe in college you have got uh, best student award you can, uh, you can add all these uh, details here so if you are excited, uh, You want to give a year, you can give it. So, all those uh, three four ten six. The description. See two awards you got, okay? So you can drop down this and you can see uh, whatever you type in, right? Uh, you can see all your accomplishments here. So it could be an award or it could be a project you completed. It could be a test you have uh, uh, done in your organization. Maybe a, maybe a, a, some test related to your, uh, to your work, something like that you can have. Maybe you can add languages also. So let's say I can speak Hindi, right? In case I can speak Hindi, you can say, please select proficiency. Uh, so for me, Tamil is my mother tongue. So I can say limited working proficiency, okay? Say, 
and i think uh, language is very important uh, you have to add it okay? so uh, if you say another you can add multiple languages you can say english so english uh, so you can say the proficiency full uh, professional proficiency okay so you can choose uh, what to see your uh, proficiency in each language so my mother tongue is tamil and i could say uh, so tamil i have native a bilingual proficiency okay so so you can choose your level of uh, comfortableness with the language of well. and uh, i suggest uh, i mean it's very important uh, you to choose a language also so language is speak also so in case uh, someone let's say someone is searching for a malay truck driver or something like that okay so those who can speak malaysian or uh, those who can speak chinese so whenever uh, uh, i mean whenever they are looking for the profile uh, it will be searchable so whenever you search for a let's say hindi uh, truck driver maybe uh, your uh, profile might appear uh, at the top okay so that means uh, the recruiter can easily contact you so 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 language is i think is a very important thing to, uh, to be added it's a mandatory thing uh, from my sense so that uh, uh, it will be helpful it will be helpful in your uh, job search okay so language is added okay let's see what else we have mm. So you can you can ask me whenever you want, right? So yeah, if there are doubts, then you stop and check, right? Ah, okay. So if I'm telling you, I got three people, I'm not going to solve it. I'm not going to change it, right? Okay. So we'll continue with our profile creation, okay? So accomplishments, accomplishments, languages, then put that in number. Organizations, I'm not going to change, okay? So. let us only add panega so if you want to add any patterns or any courses you have done okay so courses in our exam so courses could be uh for fifteen and a course maybe you have done uh in singapore uh, maybe you can add uh, something like a social digit number this is not mandatory okay so maybe you have done this course in uh, singapore okay so you can add this course so you could see all your uh, data so one, one by one when you fill right you can see all those things uh, in the in this section okay so we are done uh, this thing additional information so additional information recommendation okay so recommendation if you want to ask you can ask for recommendation let's say uh, you want to, so someone wants to recommend you right so let's say your previous company manager uh, you want to get a recommendation from him to join another company you can ask for recommendation here also okay? so you can ask uh, what do you want to ask uh please recommend me for another job in uh let's pick up okay so something like that you can give yeah but i'm like what do you want to ask for mm who do you want to ask sorry i'm a friends here only okay so we cannot do this uh, right away okay now we don't have any friends okay so once maybe we'll last discuss it later huh? in the next week add profile in another language okay so if you want to add a profile in another language right uh, linkedin automatically changes changes the language okay let's say tamil um, Thank <laughs> you. 
you know how to type in tamil you can type in tamil in case you want okay if it learn all these things right uh, you can add in tamil so i don't know how to type tamil font here maybe i'll try it uh hold on எவ்ரிங் <laughs> but some details are in tamil especially the name and the, these things so this is the purpose of having a multiple language uh, multiple language profiles okay so you can type in all those things so we see most of these things uh, additional information of okay. uh, these things are covered okay so you can say given contact info in, in case you need okay so contact info is uh, this is a profile okay this is a profile uh, link uh so you click this link uh, people can see all your uh, details in this profile and you can see uh, the email id also yeah so the e- people will be able to contact you through this email id or through this profile okay so this is your contact info let's say more build a resume share profile in a message so to be okay stop it there so yeah so any doubts in this yeah doubts in the kekla yeah kekka okay so now we'll see how to search for a job and how to apply for us <laughs> உங்களுக்கு <laughs> 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 Uh, data and Google go to manager Google account, data and personalization, delete uh, and serve, delete our service account. You know, delete a Google service, delete a Google account. Okay? Delete a Google account, you can delete it. Okay? Put it down. Manager Google account. Manager Google account. Manager Google account. வந்து 
delete a particular service in Google, okay? So you can delete uh, Gmail alone in that account, or YouTube alone in that account, or, or uh, Google Photos alone in that account, or you can delete the whole account totally, okay? So uh, I think you ask for delete account. Click on delete your account and you will delete your account. So that's it. Uh, that's it. We'll continue with the other thing, okay? Uh, so, profile we uh, create a profile, okay? So, how to grow your network, how to add friends. So, similarly, uh, we can add your uh, colleagues or uh, recruiters to your profile, okay? So, you can add, uh, click this one. And... Uh, Okay. So you can add particular persons to your account. So you can say click connect, right? You could uh, you could add these friends to your profile once they accept it. Okay, it's similar to Facebook. Okay, so how to add uh, friends or colleagues to your uh, connections to your profile? The, we here it is called connections. They are not called friends here. So they are called uh, connections. And you can add uh, uh, recruiters or uh, your colleagues or your could work on wrong. I'm gonna add for the class. Yes, uh, that's a good one. Number four connections, but then for the number before you know, it is a fresh profile that we have not added any connections. Okay, so there are no connections in our account. So if you I can show you my uh, original Google account. I, I'll have a lot of connections there. Okay. Uh, okay. That's all I'm talking about. Uh, so this is how we add profiles. And so you can say people you may know, right? You can uh, click if you if you know this guy, right? If you know this guy, you can just click uh, connect here. And he will once he accepts it, he will appear in your uh, my network sections. Okay. So once he accepts it, so he has not, uh, he wouldn't have seen our profile and uh, he, he wouldn't accept our profile yet, okay? So we'll wait for those guys to accept it. Okay? Now we'll say how to apply for a job. So there's a section called jobs here. And you could say truck driver. Okay, so here you can see all the uh, truck drivers in Singapore. So you could filter, uh, it is automatically filtered to Singapore, current location, right? So if you want to add a location, right, if you want to look for a, for a job in Malaysia also. Okay. For now, we can search only one profile. So if you want to search, if you want to search for a particular in Malaysia, then this is a change the search location. Click search, you, you can see all the uh, truck driver options. Uh, You could see all the uh, things are appearing here, okay? So now, what you can do is, you have to apply for a job. Mm -hmm. So, so click on this job, uh, easy apply, right? So what you have done is we have searched for truck driver and we have truck for, for uh, truck driver Malaysia. So we have to we we are we have to first have what you have to do is first you have to go through the uh, company profile. Uh, uh, the we have to read about the job first, okay? So here it says uh, truck driver and it says the location. So they want to work for this company, uh, Walfa Construction. Uh, this company in uh, Malaysia okay so here you can see the job is posted four weeks ago and 15 persons have looked at this job okay and you can see who posted this job who's a recruiter okay so recruiter is Lee Jun Chen and uh, he the job description is he must have a license to uh, some license, some specific license to little uh, truck driving. So he says uh, GDA license, Class E license or something. Okay, he knows he should be knowing about safe driving practice and he should have at least three years of experience. Okay, and he has to say the working hours also. It's a full working day and we have to work from Monday to Saturday. So all these details, right, can be found in this job. And he has given his personal number also. 
uh, if you want to talk to him uh, directly right you can talk to him uh, using this uh, mobile number so he has given about the job level also it's an entry level job it's, a, it's not a senior level job and uh, it's a full time job okay so you are you are happy with this job and you want to apply for this job right so you just have to click easy apply click easy apply and you can see the details i mean i can see the details so this is our contact profile uh, contact email id and this is our mobile number okay so you can say mobile number is now you can say next you can so the, the person can contact you on this number okay say so you have given your email id you have given your uh, mobile number click next so now you can click uh, add your resume so you all should have a resume okay before applying for job okay so maybe we can look at how to create a resume uh, later so for now i will upload my resume okay so I will upload my resume somewhere. Okay. So I uploaded my resume. Okay. So what I did is I clicked upload resume. I searched my I, I go I'm in the in the open uh, window, right? I have to go to the particular location where my resume is located, and I have to click search. I mean, I have to uh, select my resume and click open. Uh, the resume will be uploaded here. And you can say upload on today, right? You can say upload it. Click next. Once you have uploaded the resume, so he is, he wants to know whether once before you apply for a job, right? He wants to know if the recruiter has given us some questions. Okay, he is asking whether you have valid driver driver's license. Okay, so you could say yes, we have got a license, uh, right? Uh, as you filled in our profile, so you could say yes. I have a valid driving license. Uh, click review. You can review or whatever details you have. So you are given your mobile number. You check whether your mobile number is correct. Your resume is uh, uploaded correctly and whether you answer the questions properly. Okay. So once you do that, it asks for submit application. Click on submit application, and your job will be posted to the person. Okay. Your application was sent to the particular company. So this is how you apply for a job in LinkedIn. So all you have to do is search for a job and uh, apply for a job in LinkedIn. Okay. So maybe I'll will try to add another. I'll try to apply for a job in Singapore. Okay, no jobs found. Let's say driver. Job found okay. So class four driver. So there are different uh, jobs here. So once we search for a driver, uh, we have around uh, we have a lot of jobs filtered okay for driver position okay. So we'll say class four driver. We'll take the first one. So first one is a class. They need a class four driver. I don't know what is a class four driver, but they need a class four driver and they want to work for the company. Civil uh, Air Transport Private Limited. It's in Singapore, and this job is posted three days ago, and 15 persons have seen seen this job. Okay, and posted by this person, Ajman Sultan has posted this job, and he says that uh, he says applicant must have a BDVA license. Okay, it says bus driver occasional license, and experience driving big broad big buses. Uh, he says salary is two thousand. And he has given his contact number where you can uh, WhatsApp him to uh, learn more about the job. And apart from that, he has given employment type and all these details. So let's say you are happy with the salary and you want to apply for this job. The procedure is same. Okay, so click click on easy apply. Uh, give your mobile number. Your resume is already uploaded. Last time you uploaded the resume, right? So it's always here. Okay, it's saved here. So this person doesn't want to ask you any questions, okay? So he didn't give us any questions. So we can apply the job directly. Click supply application. Your applic job application is done. 
so this is how you apply for a law job in linkedin okay so any doubts in this there are doubts in the cake long okay um so jobs padi patache let's say how to message this particular person okay so you can so yeah so let's say i want to connect this person okay so he recruits a uh, a driver specifically right and since my profile is a driving uh, driver right so i want to connect to this person so i want to add him to my network you can add this using connect click on connect and uh, click send he can i uh, it's say similar like a facebook re friend request you send right so similarly you can add uh, this particular person to uh, your uh, profile so this guy must be a recruiter okay so he is hiring uh, so you can add him to the profile and he can do that so once you add him to the profile you can talk to him or you can message him uh, uh, using this message messaging option so this messaging option similar to the things we discuss in google chats right uh, is similar to that so like whatsapp like google is the uh, is the same profile i mean it's the same it's the same functionality so you can type in uh, a person's name and you can uh, you can message him directly okay so so yeah that's it for this week okay so i like so this week's task right uh, homework right i want you guys to uh, create a profile for yourself uh, with your contact details and with your schooling and uh, educational details and i want you to share your profile in our whatsapp group okay so please uh, do this exercise this will be very 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 useful for uh, for your uh, career okay so you could you will have access to a lot of jobs okay uh using linkedin okay so better uh, you create a profile here in linkedin and uh, uh share me your profile and uh, in your whatsapp group okay you let me know once you do this okay so let's finish our classes for this day so any questions anything you want to ask we can discuss now we have another 10 minutes more